Hey everyone, it's Mark, and today we're taking a look at a sovereign citizen who refuses to identify himself during a traffic stop and ends up getting arrested. Let's roll the video! How's it going today? Pretty good, you running your window? I'm, I'm safe right here like it is, bub. Okay, well I can't see, you got a driver's license? I got my dog in here, man. Oh, but I need to see you. Roll down your window so I can see your face. I'm gonna roll it down some more. I'm, I'm good right here, brother. Thing. I'm good right here, brother. All right, I need you to step out of the vehicle for me then. Oh, uh, what for, sir? Because I asked you to. Step Can out I get a supervisor, please, sir? sir I, I don't need a supervisor. I need a supervisor. Though. I'm requesting a supervisor, please, sir. I'm video and audio recording. Can I get okay. your name? Listen. Can I get your name and badge number for the record, please, yeah. sir? I'm deputy. I'm deputy Sisk. You were Do stopped. Deputy Sisk. What is your name? Uh, what is your badge number, please? It's 805. 805. You were stopped for no drive, no license plate on the front uh, or the rear of your vehicle. 502.003 of the Texas Transportation Can you Code. Step out of your no, sir. thank you, sir. I don't feel safe doing that, sir. Would you get a supervisor for me, sir? Please. Could you record this, sir? Would you record it? That's okay. I got it recorded right here, brother. Thank you. First off, why are you yelling? Also, I hate when sovereign citizens try this stuff when they have children or pets in the vehicle with them. In my opinion, it should be considered abuse. What's that? What What do I need to do? What lawful order is that officer giving me, brother? The lawful, the lawful order is for you to step out of your vehicle. What do I need to step out of my vehicle for, it's sir? Do you have a warrant? For my safety, Am I under arrest, up. sir? I need a no. supervisor. I'm going to remain silent, sir, and plead the fifth. Thank you, sir. Step out of the vehicle. Please, sir. I'm requesting a supervisor, sir. Please, sir. I'm requesting a supervisor, sir. Sir, you're not under arrest. Oh, okay, can I be free to go, sir? No, sir, you're not free to go. I need to talk to you because you yeah, have no I can talk to, to you right here, sir. I need you to step out of the vehicle. No, thank you, sir. Can I do yourself? Well, what? Uh, do you have a warrant to gather that information, have have sir? Warrant, sir? Well, I need to speak to you a supervisor, sir. You're filling ID? Uh, what crime have I committed, sir? Sir, on the Texas Transportation Code, you're required to... Uh, 3802, I have to be committed of a crime, sir. You're required to have a license plate your vehicle is required to be registered. 30, uh, 502.003 of the Transportation Code says a uh, political subdivision of this state may not require a registration of a motor vehicle, a tax, a yearly tax, or a license in correlation with thereof, sir. Okay, Thank you, sir. What's your name? My, I, I, I uh, remain silent, sir. So you refuse to give me your name? Am I under arrest, sir? Okay. I already told you you're not arrested. If I'm under, if I'm not under arrest, can I leave, sir? No, sir, you cannot leave. I have a dog in here, sir. You're not allowed to leave, sir. Then I need a supervisor, please, sir. You have any weapons in the vehicle? You have any weapons in the vehicle, sir? Sir, your cooperation will make this a lot easier. All I'm asking. Is your name? My hands are right here, sir. I'm not a threat to you, sir. Right now, I don't know what's in the vehicle, and you're not. I'm not a threat to you, officer. Can I pet my dog to make sure he's okay, no, sir? He's my service animal. This could simply be a warning. It could be. What, what do you need to give me a warning for, sir? You don't have proper registration on your vehicle. 502 003 registration by political subdivision is prohibited. So he would rather get arrested instead of getting a warning for his registration. The only reason he wants to get arrested is because he thinks he would have a lawsuit against the officers. However, that lawsuit will go absolutely nowhere. Do we have a supervisor in route, sir? Oh, there he is. Partner, County. Hey man, can I put my arms in and pet my dog, man? I got a service dog. Your no thank you. Uh, no thank you, man. Unless you got a warrant for me to do that. Okay. Well, then you keep your hands out where we can see them until we can get confirmation that you have. Okay, can I get your name and badge number for the record? I'm video and audio recording. Okay. Step out of the vehicle. 
Deputy Odom, dispatch number 2293. Odom 2293? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. What's your name? I don't, I don't uh, want to give it unless you have a warrant to gather that information. Thank you, well, sir. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. Uh, 3802 uh, says I'd be committed of a crime. What crime have I committed? Not having a license plate. Uh, Registration uh, 502.003, yeah, Texas Transportation Code. Texas, so. Well, if I'm under arrest, I'd like to go talk with a magistrate. Otherwise, I'd like to be free to go on about my day. Well, you're not free to go. Rondell, sir, you're detained, okay? Well, that's a uh, custodial, uh, yeah, c detainment is a custodial right arrest, and I'd like for you to read me my Miranda rights, please. Now you're failing to identify. Now, 3802, failure to identify is I had to commit a crime. Thank you, sir. Okay. You want to step out of your vehicle? No, thank you, sir. Not without a warrant. I'm in my private property being safe, and I, I don't feel safe with y'all. Thank you. Uh, 502.003 registration by political subdivision is prohibited. That is not recognized in the state of Texas. It's written by the Texas Criminal Traffic Law Manual. I just bought the new reg. I just bought the brand new one, dude. So please. If I'm under arrest, I'll get my attorney through the magistrate, sir. So I'll ask you again: Do you have any weapons or anything? I'm remaining silent, sir. For a person who's remaining silent, he sure has a lot to say. The officer should realize at this point there's no reasoning with him and should just remove him from the vehicle. Hey, partner, where are you from? I'm from America, thank you, sir. From America? Yes, sir. Where okay. are you from? From America, also. That's awesome, brother. Are you from Overton? Who am I from? Are you from Overton, Texas? Why would I be from Overton, Texas? Well, from why, what Texas. makes you think I would be from Overton, Texas, sir? I have no clue. I'm just asking. No, that's cool. Okay. What's your first name? So what's we your... Can be on, so, we, so we can be on first name basis, all right? Okay. My name's Matthew. So what's that's your... cool, Matthew. I don't really feel like giving any private information with you, brother. I feel threatened. Right now, I got two armed men right here by my by my truck. I got my surface star right here. I'm scared. My dog's scared. I'd like to be free about my travels. I don't know what crime I've committed. So, could you please? License plate, no rear license plate, also no registration. Is that under the Texas Transportation Code? And you should be familiar with that, also. Oh, so you're talking about a license, which would be 521-021. It's that for persons expressly exempt. 521.001. 521.021, license number six, one of the three terms, three accepted terms. I, I'm not arguing with you, brother. If you'd like to go argue, argue in front of the magistrate, I'm 100% willing with you. But, I mean. Well, here's the deal. This can get very ugly to the fact that we can force you out. And we don't want to do that. So, you talk to us, we talk to you. I don't feel like talking without an attorney present, sir. Would you read, since this is a custodial arrest, would you read me my Miranda rights? This is a custodial arrest. The detainment is a custodial arrest. Read me my Miranda rights, please. Read me my Miranda rights, please. Read me my Miranda rights, please. Stupidity on full display here. First off, you're not under arrest at this point. And second, they only have to read you your rights if they're questioning you about your alleged crimes. The officer had a probable cause to pull you over and has the right to ask you for your identification. Thank you! I'm not a threat to anybody, dude. I'm, I'm traveling, trying to be with my dog, trying to get some water. Sir, this could, this could, this could easily. I wish to remain you silent. Want, do you want to listen to me at all? I'm asking you a question. It's a yes or no. What do you have to say? Is that a yes? What do you have to say? I said this could ease, this could end easily. This could ease, this could have simply been a warning. This could have simply been a citation. Uh, and you could listen, and you could be on your way. Well, if you, you want to write it, listen, you're stopped for violation of traffic code, and that's why you're, that's why you're sitting here. You're not under arrest. You're stopped. You're not free to leave because you're on a traffic traffic stop for violation of traffic. It's code. okay, Scoop. It's, Sit down. It's, it's a simple class C, but you're escalating this into uh, possible possible more charges. So, um, failing to ID is a violation as well. 
Uh, I'm out escalating. My hands are out here. Yeah, I'm trying to de-escalate. You don't know who you are? I, I don't have, I'm under no obligation to give you any okay, so information, as, as man. A, as a police officer, I'm asking you for your name. You're not telling me who you are. So if I just. I have the I'm right to remain silent and private and my person's and papers and effects. Thank you, you, sir. I'm and let you violate what Texas traffic law and not even get your name? The Constitution says I don't okay, have the right, right to privacy, dude. Work. Um, dude, my head's right here. I'm not no threats, dude. I got a service dog in here, man. We're trying to get some water, dude. What are we waiting on? Oh, so a supervisor hasn't approached yet. Y'all are catfish. You know how far out he is? You know how far out he is? What's his ETA? What's his ETA? I need those other officers' names and badge numbers as well. Uh, hey man, hey, can I get deputy. your I'm, uh, video and audio recording? Can it's I get okay. Your... My name is Craig Harrington. I'm the chief deputy here at Gray County. Okay, thanks, sir. All right. Uh, you were pulled over by a lawful peace officer for a detention for no real license plate. And upon his request, he's asking that you see your driver's license, which is part of the transportation code, that you must show your driver's license upon request uh, by a police officer. 502.003. Uh, I'm talking about 525 of the transportation code. Well, sir. then we'd have to go back to 521. <laughs> Well, if, you, right if now, you'd like to go talk with a magistrate, I'm 100% okay, down well, with you, that. You, that's what's going to happen. Is they're going to have to pull you out of this, in which case that you will be forced to go before the magistrate, but you're going to be doing that under arrest. Do you understand well, that? So what do you need right now from me? He needs your driver's license. Request. A driver's license. Am I under? Am I driving under commerce? I was waiting for him to get to this part of the script. It doesn't matter if you're driving in commerce or not. You were driving on a public roadway in Texas. Therefore, you need a driver's license. It's really that simple. Yes, sir. You were driving down the road. You were pulled over. I was traveling road. freely, sir, man. I'm not going to argue that point with you. I'm well, telling you that you need to provide him with your driver's license for failure to do so. I would like to remain right. silent and play the fifth, man. All right, All right sir. I need you to unlock the door. Step out of the vehicle. Keep your hands right and see him. You are under arrest. For what? For fail to display a driver's license. Upon demand? Upon what? request. Is that 3802? Yeah. All right. I haven't. Goodbye, sir. Step out of the vehicle. Keep your hands right and see him. I don't feel safe. Turn around. I don't feel safe. It's fine. Turn around. No, my, no, no, don't reach. My dog. Don't reach. The dog stays in the car. My let, dog. The dog stays in the car. Let go of the Please, dog. Please, man. Go, let go of the dog. Dude, I got to put him. No, no, I got it. No, no. The truck. The truck. The truck. The truck. No. The truck. The truck. The truck. The truck. The truck. The truck. The I'm not even Another sovereign citizen plays a stupid game and wins a stupid prize. I feel bad for the dog, and hopefully the dog isn't with this soft sit anymore. All this guy had to do was provide his information and he would have gotten a warning, but he decided to escalate the situation and now he gets a free trip to jail. As always, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to all of my channel members for your support. I really appreciate all of your support and all of you are awesome. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.